The landmark Spectrum 8 theater spent its last day with a large line inside. The biggest crowd that moviegoers say that they have seen in a long time for its final night. Now, News 10 was not allowed inside of the Spectrum 8, but outside we spoke with movie buffs who came from all over for one last showing. It's just kind of a really mixed day in terms of, you know, emotions after coming here for decades and having such great times and great memories. Fans of the theater say they enjoyed the mix of mainstream movies and niche films that larger theaters pass over. I've come here for years to see the specialty films and kind of artsy films. Features, the international features, the foreign films. Fellow students used to come here just to hear, you know, to get the French or Italian films. With subtitles, it was all good. Even though movies are available instantly in our own homes, the shared viewing of the movie theater experience is hard to pass up. The problem with streaming a feature film sometimes, I want to pause it so often. You know, I want to look at it again or rewind or say that was a cool little part right there. Go to the movie theater, you don't have that choice. So you just really, you're there with it when it's happening and then it's over. One group of friends recalls coming to the Spectrum 8 to see Harry Potter as children and say other Pine Hills businesses will suffer without continued support. It's funny because it takes like a, a closure to get all these people out. Uh, come support the small businesses, you know, like it's really important for this area, especially after the pandemic. I mean. The movies are still kind of special. The Albany mayor says that she is confident the closure of the theater will be temporary and a buyer will take over. Landmark Theaters is looking to add new locations elsewhere. Reporting in studio, Anthony Krolikowski in News 10 ABC.